Hi everyone, welcome back. I'm Jacqueline, and today we're talking about all things Mamma Mia. Interiors. Hi guys. So, two weeks ago it was my birthday, and the day before that I decided to re-watch a summer movie classic, Mamma Mia. I really can't think of a better feel-good film for the summer months and I'm not gonna lie, I've seen it 10 times or more and I'm sure you have too. But it's been a couple years and this time around I was really focused on the interiors and architecture throughout the movie and it sparked this video idea. And another Greek themed movie that I am hotly anticipating is the release of My Big Fat Greek Wedding 3 which I believe comes out in September so I am really excited for that one too. Now there's many Mediterranean interior videos on YouTube, but you can't really put them in terms of Mediterranean countries into one style group because they're just so different from one another. That's like me just saying North American interiors, right? It's just too broad and it doesn't really make much sense. So I thought it would be cool to take a deep dive into Greek design and even more specific than that, design from the Spirades. And Side note, if you are new to the channel, welcome. I really appreciate you joining us. We talk about interior design, home decor, art, graphic design, and even architecture. So if all those things interest you, make sure to stick around. And on a more serious note, we just wanna say, we hope that all those who were affected by the fires in Greece are doing okay. And we're truly thinking of you this summer. On the whole, Greek interiors focus on a timeless and elegant aesthetic. In the film, we see the set design capture the charming and laid-back ambiance of the Greek islands. Whitewashed buildings with blue accents, narrow cobbled streets, and colourful flowers are all the essential features of quintessential Greek atmosphere. The design is characterised by its simplicity, use of natural materials, and a connection to the serene landscape of the Spirades. A typical Grecian island style draws from the traditional architecture, creating spaces that feel both rustic and contemporary. I have to admit, I was pretty disappointed to learn that most of the film was shot on set at Pinewood Studios in the UK. However, most of the outdoor scenes were taken on the Greek isles of Skiathos and Skopelos. Situated within the Spirades group of islands, and they served a lot of the movie's production design basis. I'm sure you've probably heard of Cycladic style or architecture, but that's slightly different from Spiradic architecture. Spirades architecture or Spiradic architecture? The word sporadic must be Greek, right? Cycladic architecture is the kind of whitewashed walls you'd see in Santorini. Situated in the Aegean Sea, they're known for their use of locally sourced materials such as whitewashed plaster and stone. The iconic dome-shaped structures often feature blue accents and narrow winding streets. Traditional Cycladic architecture focuses on simplicity with buildings designed to withstand the harsh climate and strong winds of the region. On the flip side of that is the architecture of the Spirades. Located further north in the Aegean Sea, the buildings here often include wood and brick to reflect the locally sourced materials. The colour palette of the Spiradic architecture tends to be more varied compared to the predominantly white Cycladic architecture. Roof styles on the Spirades Islands can vary with a mix of pitched roofs, flat roofs, and sometimes even red tiled roofs. Many sporadic buildings have internal courtyards or outdoor spaces that provide a private area for residents to relax. And most importantly, sporadic architecture showcases a mix of different influences, including Byzantine, Venetian, Ottoman, and traditional Greek styles. This blend of cultures is reflected in architectural details, ornamentation, and design choices.
If we are to define Greek island architecture in general, usually whitewashed walls, cubic design, lots of steps, balconies, cobblestone, and blue accents are the picture-perfect example of Grecian paradise. Speaking of blue accents, I'm sure it's no surprise to you that the colour blue features heavily on the colour palette. Its origins are said to come from fishermen who would paint their houses in whatever paint was left over from when they painted their boats. However, I'm not sure if that's the legitimate origin, so if you're Greek and watching this, I would love to hear what you've got to say. Over time, the use of blue in Greek architecture has actually become a symbol of Greek identity and it's often used to attract tourists and promote the picturesque beauty of the Greek islands. Cyan, azure, cobalt, Aegean and turquoise blue are the perfect tones to create the Greek aesthetic. And to be completely honest, if you don't like blue, it may not be the design style for you. The blue colours of Greece unfold like a tale of oceanic enchantment, painting a vivid display that draws you into the tranquil beauty found on the islands. Even though Kalakari isn't a real place, Skiathos and Skopolos very much are real islands in the Mediterranean. And they have their own unique textiles and patterns you can incorporate into your interior. Also a quick shout out to the patterns in the money 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 song sequence of the film, which I can only assume were used because of their resemblance to the real life textiles. Sporadi's textiles focus on loud, colourful, embroidered craftsmanship. When shopping for textiles, you don't have to buy Greek textiles specifically, of course, great if you can, but look to using handcrafted woven fabrics that will surely make your home feel like it's part of the Mamma Mia set. Something I also love in regards to pattern are the hand-painted wall murals found along walkways and in tavernas. These originate from the practice of Greek frescoes which were found in ancient civilization, and of course that spilled into modern day in the form of wall murals. Grecian island themes such as olives, fish, mythology, and of course the sea are just some starting themes.
furniture in the film isn't necessarily Greek, like this bed for example, but I do think it has some flair. Greek furniture to me is usually a lot more rustic and features a lot of wood. Think canopy beds, chunky tables, tripod tables, stark white sofas, sometimes even built into the interior architecture, taverna chairs, carved benches, woven armchairs, rattan and bamboo consoles, wooden china hutch like this one from the film, woven trunks, and embroidered ottomans, some of which I think are very much in Greek houses and just some elements that I've drawn from the movie. A lot of the furniture we see on the film set looks like second-hand pieces to me, so a vintage reclaimed furniture shop would only add to this design scheme. Also, recently I've noticed stores selling what looks like Cycladic plaster-type bookcases, and really that's my top selection for Greek furniture. I think they're really popular at the moment because they're modern, minimal, and also unique. To light up your home, I think there's really two ways you can go, either a rustic look by using natural woven pendant shades, Or for a unique look, try these beautiful hand-blown glass lights. Either way, you're sure to complete your Greek style interior. Greek island home interiors exude a captivating blend of Mediterranean charm, rustic simplicity and coastal elegance. Evil eye wall hangings, large pots, woven lanterns, beaded door curtains, blue glass vases, which I got the idea from in the second movie, carved wooden hooks, handcrafted local ceramics, coastal decor, faux wall shutters and mirrors, and olive wood boards and bowls. These items will help you create the relaxed lifestyle of the islands, creating spaces that are both inviting and evocative of the sea's beauty. Now onto the outdoor space, which in Greece is just as important as the indoor space. It actually took a lot of work to make the Mamma Mia set feel like a real place, and the company Living Props brought in real trees and plants to transform the space, along with creating artificial plants like the Bougainvillea. Typical Greek plants to integrate into your garden are olive trees, grapevines, lavender, cypress trees, pomegranates, jasmine, and bougainvilleas. Characteristic Greek photos you see online have pink, purple bougainvillea, and it works so well because blue, purple, and pink are analogous colours, which just means that they sit together on the colour wheel.
huge terracotta pots are synonymous to Greece, so it makes sense to spread them out the yard and use them as sculptures or as plant pots themselves. These pots, also known as ceramic or clay vessels, served various practical and artistic purposes within ancient Greek society. I think that they're really rustic and add an authentic feel to the garden. Now, it kind of goes without saying, but the most iconic part of the Mamma Mia set isn't actually the interiors, it's the patio space outside where they later find Aphrodite's fountain. Amongst the cobblestone, there is also a dolphin mosaic, so look to incorporating mosaic designs into your garden wall or flooring alongside cobblestone type paving. If you live absolutely nowhere near Greece, simply by choosing landscape photography, it will transport you and your house guests to the islands of the Spirades. Conversely, because the interior walls are stark white, you can also opt for loud, bold, colourful, abstract paintings that will stand out from the wall. As a guide, choose paintings that complement the colours found in the embroidered textiles I mentioned before. Both art pieces, whichever route you decide, complete the design and decorate the simplistic wall backdrop in the scheme. Books to adorn your interior are of course Greek holiday books, Greek landscape books, Greek interiors, architecture and of course cookbooks. Even if there are no nods to Greece and you simply have a blue and white interior, books relating to the islands will instantly create the vibe you're looking for. I'd love hearing your thoughts down in the comment section about what you think around Greek interiors and I think this will probably be the last kind of summer themed video I'll be doing this year so let me know what kind of autumn videos you want to see because that's what I will be focusing on next. Please leave me a like or a comment to let me know you enjoyed the video because that really really does help to grow our channel. And if you love interior design, home decor and all that creative stuff, feel free to subscribe. But that's it for today's video. I hope that you are having your own very much Mamma Mia type summer and I will see you in the next video. Bye guys.